Pressure is mounting on San Francisco District Attorney Brooke Jenkins to release the video of a Walgreens security guard shooting and killing Banco Brown during an alleged shoplifting incident. In the meantime, our legal analyst tells Jose Martinez she's giving out mixed messages. Jose. Well, that's right. There's definitely a lot of confusion in this case. Last week, the district attorney said that there wasn't enough proof to actually present charges against this security guard. Now, this week, she says that this is an ongoing investigation. So the question is, where are we in this case? A week after District Attorney Brooke Jenkins announced charges would not be filed against the security guard who shot and killed Banker Brown, Many are still trying to understand what changed their mind. It is very confusing because at first the citizens of San Francisco are told there isn't enough evidence to proceed with the case. Now in a case like this, this is not that complicated a case. Anthony Bross is a former prosecutor with extensive experience in criminal law. He says the decision not to prosecute was likely rushed out it might have been based on incomplete information. What's surprising about it is that the elected official the district attorney in San Francisco held a press conference in which she was very clear that the evidence she had could not negate self-defense. And then later on, after making that statement, she seems to take the approach that now further investigation is necessary. Last week, the DA announced that she would not prosecute the security guard because the guard believed he was in mortal danger and acted in self-defense. But on Monday, Jenkins said the investigation is ongoing she was up against a legal deadline to either charge the security guard with 72 hours or release him from custody. The DA said she based her initial decision on the security camera video she's now under mounting public pressure to release. The question is, if the district attorney's attitude has changed from this case being one that could not be proven to one that now requires further evidence, what was the change? What was the piece of evidence? Right, so right now, actually, the Board of Supervisors is meeting to analyze some items related to this case. One of them is actually a proposal that would ban security guards from using uh, weapons against other people if, to protect property. And the other one is a resolution urging the DA to release this video, but she already says she's not going to do it because it's an ongoing investigation. Back to you.